I'm a, I'm just exploring this for the first time, and I feel like considering this is the first ever Ava Community Treasury proposals, I think it's worth preserving because this is part of the open metaverse, folks. These are a whole spirited, uh, creative energy source that we that we should definitely pay close attention to. If I go to I believe home base, I gotta log in first. So if you're not familiar with Jadu, they are one of the, I guess, longest uh, pioneers in the Web3 space of augmented reality. They've been really, really pushing the bar for over a year now, um, partnered and co-signed by Michael Bay. And they've really built some beautiful work here that is just exciting to be a part of. What's going on right now is that uh, when they minted their AVAs, their avatar, uh, one of the things that they did is they took all of the funds from that mint and created a community, um, what they call the AVA Community Treasury, also known as ACT. And the voting, just like in Decentraland's DAO, has different subjects. I wouldn't even call this uh, so much a... This, this has DAOish qualities, but it doesn't really function as a DAO. It's more like a voting council, I would say and the treasury ballot system. It's not the same kind of way we are seeing things carried out in Decentraland. But the vote goes on now, it ends on the 5th. There are different rolling cycles already, different periods. Like a lot of the things that Decentraland is just figuring out and establishing now, Jadu is kind of approaching it in their own kind of controlled way. I think it's interesting to learn from this experience. So I encourage all of the Decentraland community to Take a look and see what we're doing, what's happening over here. A whole new uh, DAO now is giving away funds. Over a million dollars in funds for creators right here. Think of that. Where now, now creators can bring their talents in a lot of different places. There's fun. Scarcity is not in, in money. It's actually in talent and creators right now. So let's vote on these proposals. As a Jetpack holder, so they have different um, NFTs. They have their AVA. They have their hoverboards and their most OG, their Genesis uh, NFTs, their jetpacks. So I do have a jetpack. I also have a hoverboard and I have the Ava. So as a result, like the hoverboards, they get a voting opportunity later down the line. The first vote and decision in terms of what grants get decided to get approved goes to the hoverboard holders. So you can imagine that, I mean to the jetpack holders. So you can imagine that to say, like imagine if Decentraland landholders were the first ones to decide what grants were gonna go through and then and then people with you know mana would get the chance to approve or unapprove the grant. Interesting approach. Interesting approach. And it, so it basically it allows those Genesis NFT holders to prioritize. But here you can see these are you know pretty expensive, eighteen hundred for one of these. So let's see what Decentraland land is right now. For comparison. Okay, so they're just about the same price as a piece of Decentraland land. And you, you know, each of these have their own quality. So these jetpacks are used in augmented reality. I'm not trying to compare. I'm trying, they all have, you know, you can't compare apples to oranges. I'm just trying to say, like, in terms of voting rights that come with these NFTs, it's interesting to see how they apply. Here you can see a bunch of different um, projects. You can see how it's visualized. I have one voting power because I have one classic jetpack. I don't have a, a pro jetpack or chippy jetpack or streak, all these things that give you more voting power. So I can cast my one vote though. It's like having a vote on the Grammy committee, right? Let's see, plan an event. And how about that Tunisia win over France? Shout out to Tunisia, congratulations. Plan an event or experience. So this person is trying to plan an event or experience. They want a medium grant. Two weeks. Magic Ava Improv Music. A weekly live streamed interactive improvised concert performed by Ava's. Okay, so we're going to see an improvised concert performed by Ava's. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, okay. I like it. 
pitch deck is not uploaded. So there is not a pitch deck yet. Description. Josh Lim and Zaleski perform a live stream concert using suggestions from audience members to inspire improvised songs. Using Ava's, the duo will play Digital Wizards, The Source Code Apprentice, Merlinix. Uh, Josh plays digital keys and drums to quickly assemble radio-ready pop instrumentals in a variety of genres. And Rob uses a live looper to add vocal layers and rap lyrics. And for those who don't know, I went to Berklee College of Music, studied jazz composition, film scoring, started multiple bands. My band, uh, ja uh, like let's see, this band I have called New Mine was a group of eight musicians, live looping, two, you know, two drummers, at times, you know, we had a cello, violinist, guitar player, bass player, singer. We had rappers come on. It was the whole, whole. So I can say this is something I love to see. So this is like speaking to my heart right now. So Josh plays digital keys and drums to quickly accelerate radio ready pop instrumentals. Uses live looper to add vocal layers. I love that effects. One hour show will feature a live chat with the Twitch audience asking for answers to questions such as what's something you wish computers could do or Who's ready? Who's your nemesis and what did they earn? What do they do to earn the title? Magic Duo select an answer bef uh, before each song and then build a track around that. That's awesome. And kind of Mark Rabier. I love Mark Rabier. So this is a solid, solid curated vibe. After the show, all the audio layers and stems will be uploaded to a shared Dropbox and Jadu community members to download or remix royalty free. Amazing. So we can remix these also royalty free. So Jadu community members, basically this is going to create our own music. We're going to get two musicians in the studio. We're going to be able to throw out ideas and stories for them. They're going to create, and these songs could be like, you never know. This could be like the intro song. These songs could be songs in the animated series remix royalty free we could use these these songs in the animated series we're building so i like this partners and other backers let's check it out a josh Lim composer okay sony ai the team behind gt sophie looks amazing gran turismo love that game nike trash talking trash i'm really the youth climate movement being like ferociously passionately uh, uh, brilliantly uh. led by teenage girls you don't have to be called an activist Billie to Ellish. talk about what's right okay clearly performing at a world-class tier so if people come back and look at this and say who are the kind what's the quality of artist what's the quality of creator this is this is quality this ain't no, nothing wrong with working in your basement. You know, I've been there. I know what this, but I will say quality. Now it says it wants a medium grant and I want to get a little bit of clarity on what a medium grant is exactly. So if we go down, we can see the medium grant right here. Is two thousand five hundred to seventy five hundred. So for one show, I will say it's a one one hour show, twenty five hundred, seventy five hundred. But we are also going to get the rights to remix and use these tracks royalty free, all the stems. So twenty five hundred to seventy five hundred for two musicians in the studio, and we're gonna get the rights to the music, is a fair deal. It is a fair deal. I will say I do wish that there was a, I guess a pitch deck, maybe it doesn't make, maybe something a pitch deck for this would be difficult, but it would be cool. I think personally, I wish that there was like a sort of, you know, sort of example stream. Maybe that, I, I was hoping that that's what this would be. Got some music samples. Here we go. Let's check out the music samples. Huh. A 
Hey, uh, uh, hey, I might have to drop a little some on this, huh? Let's go. Yeah. Off of these critics, dropping these critics. Off of the top, cause I'm with it. You know I did it. I didn't stop, cause I'm with it. Off of the top, I'm not a critic. I stick with it. Something like a glue, I'm just with it. Off of the top, because I like this. No, I know I'm not the nicest. But if rhymes like this are priceless. I use these devices to tell stories. Not gory, allegories. That's my story. I do it for the people in the chat. What's up, what's good with Twitch, what's that? Where y'all at? Throw them nines down. Listen up, my sound. Give it up, my crown. Where you at, my town. The central land. Jadu came through with the crew. You know how we do, can't do what we do. A y'all coming through the screen like, what is, what, 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 where we go? Came through the, the radio, to the TV, to the movie theater, man, what we see went and evolved to VR. Now we went to AR. Where we come to this life, where we be, I don't know, far. Far from now, I'm far from the sound. Far from the coward that you thought I was, I do devour every rapper, man, shit is sour, I do not want to taste it, shit is tasteless, I am on basis, three bird and I'm going for the fifth, let me stop my, okay, 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 just the fact, just the inspiration that I'm feeling right there. I'm gonna cast my vote on that. Casting my vote. Did I approve? Did it get approved? Okay, I think it's gone. Okay, I think once I've casted my vote, it disappears from the lineup here. Okay, either you can cast your vote or you can abstain. Okay, okay. All right, let's look at the next one. Develop AI product or service. Large grant, four weeks. Okay. Wallet guard, Jadu. Security, education. I like this. Okay, it's a large grant though. Keep that in mind, it is a large grant. Wallet Guard is building an end-to-end -end data security suite designed to combat scams. I like that. Got to keep the community safe. Wallet Guard has two main products, both focused on improvising, I'm sorry, <laughs> improving security and UI in Web3. Okay. Our first product that is publicly available in our Chrome extension. That proactively detects and blocks malicious links to prevent a user from ever needing to connect to a website to realize it may be a scam. Like that. I like that. I like that. Our second product, which we've been working with MetaMask security team, is our wallet guard, MetaMask Snap. Okay. This snap will allow users to simulate transaction to understand in human readable fashion what is a particular t transaction or signature is asking for and what happens if you did confirm it. I like that. Okay. Need the PDF on this. Okay. 7.5 billion from scams. Of course we know that. Yes, how wall guard works. Okay, first impressions, all in one resource. I like this brand traction. Go to market strategy. This isn't what I'm looking for. Actually, I'm looking for something very specific and that is how does this relate and how does this, so here we go, business model. There's a, a freemium, so our, Jadu holder is going to get this for free. So personally, like I would say pre-seed round, you've already raised some funds. Like, 
something like this personally I can't I had to have to abstain from because it, it this looks more like it's being funded to it's not clear to me in this presentation how this is going to relate the value back to the Jadu ecosystem like that might be in the form of a discount you know is there some sort of strategic value that this is going uh, you know beyond of course the obvious i mean i think right off the bat i could definitely see myself as a customer for this but whether or not this would be meriting a you know a grant from the jadu fund i think it would need to be clearer in this proposal how these value how the you know how this is more than funding development for your clearly valuable product. So I'm going to abstain from now on this one. The bloom, the process of becoming capture document and create content for Jadu. I like this document and create content. I like this because you know, I'm all about this develop a product or service medium grant two weeks. The bloom process of capture document, create content for Jadu. I like it. This is like, right down our alley. There isn't a pitch deck. This is going for a medium grant, so 2,500 to 7,500. Document and create content for Jadu with more than 15 years of experience in entertainment. Documenting moments have become a passion of mine. This guy and I see eye to eye, guy or girl. Being able to capture and create beautiful, intimate, and unique content is my expertise. Looking to organize social media campaigns showcasing Ava's hoverboard jetpacks in both I like this. Working with Jadu community all over the globe. Like this. Jadu should have a presence at all major NFT events, conventions, able to travel. I like that. I'm a one ba one man band for our production. A jack of all trades. Okay, they're gonna do photography, videography, steady cam, drone, 360, mini camera, time lapse, all these, and I believe it. This is definitely a one stop shop. I will say since they're this is like 25, 7,500. This isn't clear for how long this is. There's no pitch deck. It's not clear how long this is going to, um, carry out out, you know, like how many videos are being created? Um, how are we going to benchmark performance for the outcomes? These are things that literally right now are the peak topic of discussion in the Decentraland DAO right now. Literally, um, you can see another stream that I did yesterday talking about this, how right now the reform and next steps in the Decentraland DAO are all around restructuring the grant program around, you know, what are these categories? What are the requirements for these categories? So if we were going to compare to, you know, the gold standard right now that's happening, at least the most ongoing and most distributed funds like the Decentraland DAO in the last year gave out i think what what are we talking um says it right here the last year they gave out over five million in grants i'm pretty sure over five million in grant funding right here so with over five million we're talking about learning from like what we're learning from that experience and uh one the one of those things that the key things on these social media grant discussions is you can see this is the conversation right now like what are the requirements significant audience size so what's your audience size how is that related to you know the brand what are the performance metrics what are the total number of views that are we're getting on the content you know what's the existing content that you have around this and what are the existing number of views what's the mentions that you're getting in in the media outlets what are what's the viewer retention number of pieces to be produced so number of videos to be produced. How many videos are you going to produce? Key. I like this. I like this. Look at this. Really powerful discussions. I really uh, suggest, I don't know if anyone's watching this right now. I'm definitely going to post this for the Jadu community afterwards. But Jadu community, I've been seeing this, folks. I know I know a lot about the, these kinds of experiences. Um, the Central Land Report was built um, 50% of the funding that went to build what we have today here was through grant funding. So we've probably raised and invested around 250K and half of that came from DAO funding. A little over, like 260K, right? 
No, well, half of that came from God for me. But yeah, so that for my reason, I can't like turn my back on a pro. You know, I've learned a thing or two. If I was like day one from Decentraland out, I might even say, yeah, let's go for it. Let's see. But we, I've, I personally have learned. I'm gonna take that experience into the Jetpack Council, and I'm gonna abstain on this because I think we need to set precedence here. We need to see some benchmark performance commitments here before we start approving 25, 7,500 on these kind of social media content creation grant proposals. Ava Toy Company, here we go. IRL Toys from owned Ava, I like this. I would love to have right here on my desk an Ava thing, right? Proposed pilot intended to increase brand awareness for Jadu Avas as company and NFTs as a whole to non-crypto communities also known as normies. I will begin with constructing a proof of concept using one model, which is currently unrevealed. Thus, it could be a one of one or gesture. Okay. That might be a conflict of interest because you would need to get approval, of course, from the person who owns that, but I'm sure you could get that approved. The proposed project is uh, intended, by the way, how much this is going to be a large, I imagine. Large, yes, that's right. Intended to increase brand awareness and allow for people to discover Jadu that aren't in Web3, right? Concept model is going to be a six inch plastic Ava with more additions, which will come out in, uh, dependent on sales for shipment profits earned from the first round, okay. Evo Toy Company, I like it. Our journey, our mission, global overview, our values. Okay, Ava's born. Evo Toy Company idea, manufacturing talks, proof of concept, first, okay. I'm kind of unclear where in the journey where we're connected to manufacturing discussion. First batch of Evo Toy is manufactured. Okay, so we are, I guess, right here. We've already talked to manufacturers, we're connecting to manufacturers, discussing production possibilities. It would be great to see a logo or like who, like a, a kind of logo, who the manufacturer is. Okay. Demonstrate the world that NFTs aren't just overpriced JPEGs. Build a community, I like that. Increase Jadu Ava awareness worldwide. Uh, bring joy to everyone purchasing the product. I love that. Global overview, toy sales, massive. I definitely know there's toys, no joke. Huge, huge market. Clothing are toys, our clothings are becoming toys. Clothings are starting, you know, like, come on. We're all just adult babies here. Everyone loves toys. Our values, like quality, reputation, community engagement. The bloom, indeed, it will spread. It's unclear to me uh, how there's going to be like a, like if even a percentage, I think if you're going to like whatever shit, I think there should be like some sort of, as my understanding, this is not just a like, this is a community treasury. This treasury is meant to grow. They're not taking percentages in companies. Maybe they could do an accelerate, like or put a, a specific amount of funds like to the side for an accelerator program, right? And that would take maybe a percentage in a company. But, however, as my understanding, this is like the community working together to grow this treasury. So we really want every single one of these things so it's easier for me to say yes to a medium grant for a live stream. And I will say, maybe I got caught up. I got inspired. I got personally connected. So if you're trying to get my vote, you know, <laughs> drop me a dope beat. And <laughs> my jetpack will fly towards you. But thinking rationally right here, for a large grant, which is, I think, up to 15,000, 7,500 to 15,000. 
not quite quite sure. If I can can admit my vote to that one. Jadu Wellness. Health and well-being isn't something that gets enough attention. Let's go. Let's get our wellness a large grant. Four weeks. It, health and well-being isn't something that gets enough attention. Web3. At Yaga, they want to change this. Using Ava's, our plan is to create a short movie promoting mental and physical well-being. Showing the usability of the Ava's, but also what Jadu represents. Kindness, compassion. I love that. Pitch deck, let's go. Devoted to delivering health and well-being to communities in the metaverse. And by the way, like my vote isn't doesn't there's no vote against you don't vote against things. As a as a jetpack holder, you vote to prioritize things based on what the Jadu jetpack holders prioritize is what goes to the hoverboard approval or denial. That's very, very important to know. And hoverboard and Ava. So if you're a hoverboard or Ava holder. So it's kind of like just to say, what do I want to prioritize to see? So far, I think the only thing I've prioritized is to get a live stream going for some, and because because, and I'll say not just because of the dope beats and the live and and the, and the and the extra free freestyle there, but also because we are going to get the ability royalty free to use the samples and rights to that so us as, as jadu community holder members we can use the value of that long term for our projects in other ways so i stand by my prioritization in that yaga is devoted to delivering health and well-being to communities in the metaverse web3 comes with amazing untapped potential. But yes, I can say myself, I have suffered from the pressures on mental health from Web3. I can say I've been there. And being a, a leader and being a content creator and everything that comes along with being a part of the space. I think everybody in this space is a leader. I'm not trying to say I'm the only, like, everybody in this space is a leader right now because they're standing against the grain of 99% of people who are sort of standing against what the potential that we have here. Um, they're going to produce a short film based on mental health, and that can also stand by and we can use forever. You know, it, connect Jadu, Ava, and Yaga lore. Promote mental health across, okay, interactive storyline development. Love that. Expansive, expansion of positive culture, cross promotion. Um, if, I, if I was to say like some feedback on, on the deck, of anything can always be better and i'm sure maybe even show this later but i would say like cross promotion of brands how many people are going to get impacted by this cross promotion how many people are going to get exposed from yaga like on the yaga end to jadu through this cross promotion of brand it makes it easier for me to say yes i think that's all it is i'm just looking for an easy reason to say yes metaverse company Okay. These are the softwares they're using. This is their roadmap, script writing, development, voice acting, post-production, release. I want to see an example of the video. Initial script writing, motion graphics, video editing. You know, I, I totally vibe with this because I know that it's going to co it costs a lot. But I'm looking right now also how many how what's the duration of this video how long is this going to be what's the quality like is there a benchmark of quality that we're looking at right now on what these videos are an example what's the duration we know you're using unreal yaga okay big yellow fishes will produce finished product Okay, they're going to do post-production. Okay, so they're going to put those finishing touches. Okay. I like this website. Very cool. 
but you just can't go off of the website, folks. Promo video. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is the level, this is the kind of post-production you can expect. The metaverse allows for unlimited space to perform music, allowing for live concerts, DJ sets, and a wide. Hmm. Electronic music genre and live performing act. The first. First, bringing new. Okay, okay, this is being annoying. Hold on, I'm gonna let it load. Music into the metaverse. Using virtual reality as a tool. You know what I find sometimes? Let me check out Brave real quick. Bringing music into the metaverse. Alright. Using virtual reality as a tool to connect musicians all over the world. The metaverse allows for unlimited space to perform music. Allowing for live concerts, DJ sets, and a wide range of electronic music genres and live performing acts. The first NFT instrument shop in the metaverse. Music is an international language and a universal culture shared by all. Help us build the platform of the future for musicians in the metaverse. Using virtual reality as a tool that brings entertainment and with the right architecture, promotes a new economic system using web 3.0 so if you take out the sound you can kind of just imagine those things as the avas there's going to be some sort of maybe zen mode meditations going on it could be very dope could be very dope i am a big fan of mental health and well-being that is for sure but i do uh think that Anything in terms of video production, we need to be clear, like what's the duration of the video going to be? Um, we would need to see some, like, some form of proof of concept example. Um, and I say this, maybe it's on their website. Let's go, here we go, here we go. This is it. I would have made that a little easier to find. Okay, proof of concept video. Oh, that, that oh, oh, we, I, I see a void there. Okay. Okay, I like this. Am I going to be matching that movement and following that movement? Honestly, I like that. I like that. You know what? I vibe with this. I saw what I, what I was asking for. I saw it when I needed it. The only thing I'm not seeing is how long is it going to be? I am going to cast my vote on this one. I'm going to approve it, but I know that in order to vote and put it through for my for my hoverboard vote, the next vote to really approve it, I'm definitely going to need to see more details on that and see um Gonna need to see how long the duration is. Some more details on like the specs for the for the content, right? Because each one of these that gets passed, I think, becomes a benchmark for performance for the next grant. We don't want to make it too hard for ourselves. I do agree there, but we should definitely not set the bar uh, below what we already know we're capable of. Blockchain Bunny and Big Hino have been turning 3D models into snap filters for a few months. Having played with their fluffs and are now creating filters that can be used, use uh, to turn you and your favorite 
and your friends into your favorite Jadu 3D avatars. Try Ava filter here. Nice, we got Trippy, we got Bunny Ears. So we got some examples. Partners and other backers. Let's see if we got a pitch deck here. We do. Snap to your Avaverse. I like it. Ava snaps. Ava snap filters will give you great utility. Eyeballs and value to the Jadu ecosystem. We plan to transform up to 200 unique Avas over. Wow. How are those going to be decided? Snap filter can be used transform. I like that. Do, 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 do. Adding value. I definitely think that adds value. Great fun. Mm. Four weeks, my goodness. You know what? I would love to see this. I think that would be fantastic. I would hope that one of my one of mine get to go through. That'd be my only concern. I'm gonna vote yes because I definitely want that, and um, but we'll need to make sure that that's. Hmm. I would want to hear what Asa Asad's ideas on that. You know, whether or not they have plans for those kind of filters. Because honestly, I would rather see. A tutorial video made like how artifact did for their clones I'd rather see a tutorial showing us how to create a snap filter with your with our Ava's the same way that they've done here that's personally where I would rather go I think that's more scalable and um, rather than having us to spend another grant to create this for another like think about there's 11,000 I actually regret voting putting my vote on that now Oh well. I would actually um, ask that you make 200 for me to vote that through, make 200 and make a video showing people on how to do it for their own. That would be my request, sa, to approve that at the next stage. Chad, let's see how, how many. I think we only have a few left. Oh no, we have quite a few. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have fourteen left, and I have a meeting in ten minutes. So I'm gonna have to come back, and uh, we have until December fifth, so we have a few more days. I'm not gonna have enough time to jump through the rest of them right now, but. Um, I will be streaming live tomorrow. So tomorrow during my live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will jump back into here to vote in on more of these. So yeah, jump into the stream tomorrow. I wanted to jump into this, give y'all a preview. Uh, but yeah, catch the live stream here on the Decentraland Report. We're preserving the history of the metaverse. We are here on the scene catching history. And one of our reporters is a Jadu Ava. Um... As you can see their portrait here on the stream. Soon you'll be see, seeing that character stream live here. Um, until then. Super exciting stuff, y'all. I want to keep going through this, but I do have a meeting in 10 minutes. So um, until... Oh, wow. Cringe. I totally left that video. <laughs> I left that up. All right, y'all. Um, probably gonna come through and snip together a highlight on this later. Let's see what Chad is saying. Hey, what was in your egg? There is no egg yet. Tomorrow the eggs will be claimable. All right, y'all, so like I said, I don't have enough time. I've got to jump into a meeting, but you have until uh, December 5th to go through all of these as Jetpack holders to cast your vote. And then soon in the next round as Ava holders or hoverboard holders, you'll be able to vote and approve the official uh, grant proposal that these 
um, prioritized, the ones that get prioritized by, by the Jetpack Council, will go through the official vote. I will be streaming tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to go through more of these. So if you want to tune in and weigh in on some of this with me, you're welcome to join. Um, I hope to see you. Uh, and thank you to everybody for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day.